I'm going on an international trip tomorrow. Like, I am I know. ready? Yeah, and then you're just like, you want to watch something? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everybody. welcome to another day we are uh, we've been doing some stuff I think just kind of recovering from our my trip the hiking trip lots of kissing tons of kissing it's pretty typical actually and um, <laughs> and also kind of resting a little bit putting everything away from our I'm gonna set this here putting everything away from the trip which is the, the part that nobody wants to participate in except dad so the boys sort of like make themselves scarce when it's suddenly time to, you know, get everything put back where it's supposed to be and clean it's up. It's the worst! It's it's not fun. Um, so, yeah. we've made, so we've made some progress there and uh, also I'm just trying to, I actually, I'm actually trying to stay off my feet a little bit today. I got some, I had some uh, callus, not calluses. Blisters. Blisters. Developed a couple blisters from the, from the hike. Well, it was 26 miles, so. It was a long one. We actually went and picked up one of the, a couple of the boys that were there on the hike are some friends of ours that moved away and have come back to visit for like a month at renting a house here. Um, and uh, I asked when we picked one of the other boys up because they were going to play with the other with our, with Peter and Asher. I was like, so do you have any blisters? He's like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> Young kids can do anything and not get hurt. Um, but now we are, uh, we're going to kind of help Megan's parents a little bit more. They they moved into their home here. They need a little more shelving in their, in their garage, so I'm gonna go help. But they can't fit it in their car. Yeah, it's, it's like a big thing. Gonna go with the van here, pick that up, probably help them put, to, put that together a little bit. And then beyond that, I'm not sure exactly um, what the plan is for the day, if we have one really. And I have been going through all my stuff for a trip that Mike and I are taking. We never took our 20th wedding anniversary trip. And this year is Mike's parents' 50th wedding anniversary, which is crazy. And so um, all of Mike's siblings and their spouses, we're all going to Mexico with them. And for our anniversary trip, we're just going a few days early. So I've been just kind of starting to pack, look through what I have and make sure I have everything, not like I need to today, but just cause it's fun. Hey, you gotta start getting ready. Yeah. Okay, we got our shelves. Mom went outside to look at plants. There it is, put it together. Ready for more storage. Always need more storage, right? Okay, we've jumped forward another day. Um, can't remember where we ended things yesterday. But today, working on a couple things. First off, it's still the process of kind of putting everything back from our camping trip. Um, all the gear needs to be put away and, you know, put back. Um, Andrew's in the backyard right now putting together the trampoline. He moved it over here from the other house because his project uh, this month um, is to learn how to do backflip, but on the ground. So he wants to start on the trampoline though. So he's back there putting that together. Um, and then Megan is doing her walk this morning. So we're kind of working on a few projects. Also, I'm gonna to need to, you know, we had those plant plant towers um, and we realized that the back porch is probably not the best place for those because they it doesn't get enough sun there. So we've put them down kind of in the bottom of the yard down by the back fence, but the issue is that it isn't level there. So what we're gonna do is um, we're just going to take a shovel and basically level out kind of the footprint of each one of those in the in the grass there put some pavers down so they can sit there and they can be turned um just two spots for those they're not they don't have a huge footprint and uh that way we can have them level be able to turn them and uh, have them get plenty of sun and then when we move out we can just pull the pavers and put down some sod there and it should be fine uh so that's kind of everything we're working on today here's all the uh camping stuff 
Gotta find or put them in some boxes and get them in into the warehouse here. Oh, it's a little bit messy as usual, but not too bad. Gonna see if we can get them back there in that pile. So I don't know if Mike started the vlog yet. But... He already did. Oh, okay. I'm home from my walk, which was lovely. And uh, Andrew is finished putting the trampoline together. And I think Mike went to go get some things for that and for our garden beds because we had them here. You'll see that it's noon and it, this is still part, partially in shade, this spot. And then once the sun goes past there, it's in shade again. So it just wasn't enough sun. So we've moved them down there, but it needs to be more even. Anyways, happy to have the trampoline back. What you doing? Um, we're just getting, we decided to get these stepping stones for the, um, where the, they're just 12 by 12. So we do four, that gives us enough space to- For each planter. For each planter to move around. And they're like $1.58, oh, so. They're pretty cheap. Um, yeah, so we'll just level out the spot and then, I also threw in three more tomato plants. Some that are like good for, they're like the little tidy treats. And then um, husky cherry reds, both of which are considered good in containers. Some marigolds because I've always heard but never done it. I know that they're supposed to help protect your plants from bugs. So I'm gonna throw a few of those in. And I got a little bit more potting mix because when our things fell over. Did you tell them how they fell over? Do I know? How they fell over? I didn't. Uh, I just said maybe I did. So when, when we moved them down the hill into the better sun, it was a little bit of an angle. And we thought, well, might be okay. And like we walked inside and I'm like, I, I'm afraid if we leave them there, they're going to fall over. And we looked out and they already had. <laughs> so one was kind of fine and the other one lost a lot of its potting mix and i didn't want to like get it off the ground and get all the weed seeds in too much so we've got one more bag and um so i can put these in and then also i'm going to be doing some more greens probably those are the ones that fell out you know though you can't see it right now the sun's gone behind a cloud this is the best spot in our yard it has sun nearly the whole day this corner right here but maybe you can't tell on camera or you can tell if you look at the fence it's raining a little bit it dips down and so mike is going to use these shovels and just make two little spots right here to put these pavers on i also ordered went back to green stock and ordered something more if you didn't watch our video where we put these in um these are from a company called green stock been so impressed with them. They have tons of information on their website. There's also a lot of different gardeners on YouTube who have used their products, reviewed them. I had complete confidence that this is what would work for us in our rental. But I'm gonna show you what you can get to make it even easier on yourself to grow vining plants. This is what I got. Cute bags, by the way, green stock. Okay, these are supports that will click together and around the the planter to be like a tomato cage would be so i'm gonna probably not put this together today because of the rain it's not gonna really rain yeah you're right we'll see if i put it together today but i'm gonna help mike do this now and make sure we're stacking them correctly okay mike how'd you do well i got a little sweaty Probably not great right for our date, but. Is it level? It is uh, level enough. It's almost perfect. Um, I just eyeballed it, but it's a lot more level than it was. Yeah, that's um, great. And we'll be able to just sort of twist, just turn them. Twist and shout? Yeah, and it shouldn't be a problem. I'm just kind of backfilling the edges with this little bit of saw that we pulled up um, to keep it in place and then when we're when we leave we'll just pull these four blocks out and put a square of 
sod down, I think it should be fine. So, moment of truth. Yeah, is, sorry about the sirens. Apparently, something's going on. Oh, yeah. It works? Yeah. Right? Good job. Okay, perfect. Okay, I am filling this up. And you go until you see it start coming out the bottom. And tomorrow, I'll put the dirt in the top one and uh, replant that. Oh, it's, is it coming out the bottom yet? No, not yet. Pretty close. Close enough then, right? If you guys are wondering how things are doing, and my onions are doing great. Um, some of them struggled a little bit. These are just the marigolds. I, I'm going to be planting them tomorrow. Some of them struggled a little bit because of a few hot days and not having them put together for the last three days or so. Like my tomatoes need water desperately. But look how well the peppers are doing. Just really going. Um, what is this sprouting up? Oh, look. My pumpkins. Ooh, a pumpkin. I think this is watermelon right here coming up. This, that means this one should be coming up soon. These are my squash, my mini squash. And what else we got here? Some more squash. So we'll get some water on this soon. That's fun. The pumpkins come up. Okay, we got our second little spot. Just a second. Megan's doing some planting. I couldn't help myself. Couldn't not do it. We're both getting all sweaty and dirty right before we're supposed to go on our date tonight. Yes, Pete? Oh. So the next day, I'm trying to hurry before the rain comes and get my support systems on these things, my towers. Um, and Because I also got to hurry and take kids somewhere. I still haven't gotten my walk-in for the day. But um, you gotta do it before the rain, you know? It's really simple, you just click them in and um, then you come back and you add these. So, fill the rain. I got several of these to go around. These right here are pumpkins and things like vining plants and I'll kind of use this to hold them out but I'm gonna let them go onto the ground as well and then I'm gonna use this support for my tomatoes like a cage. So I haven't looked at the instructions so I think I'm doing it right but if I'm not I'll go look and maybe I'll move them because they're so simple to move around. So. Okay, I got my supports on. These two bottom ones are for my vining plants and I'll just kind of um, teach the vine to grab onto these and vine around that way. And um, same with this. But up here are my tomato plants on this row. And so these will be like tomato cages. And these are potatoes that will grow. This is my first little potato plant. And same with this. These are for the bottom row. I have a couple of tomato plants that I'll teach to um, on here. I have a space left here, so I might put one more little mini tomato plant in there. Um, but we'll just see. But I'm really excited that I got the plant supports. I have a few things left to do out here, but I've got to run kids to some activities. And then I wanted to get a walk in. I'm really happy with how that's going. If you wanted to grab one for yourself, they're so great. And if you go to their website, there's so many videos. And we have a coupon code. Um, so with the link down below in our coupon co code NORP, you can get $10 off. Okay, scratch that. We're gonna head to Costco after we drop Andrew off. I don't know if the walk's gonna happen, but I'm gonna be walking through Costco in my walking clothes, so does that count? So Mike and I just finished up at Costco. So we're leaving town and so we have it all planned out with the kids for the meals that are simple, that they are comfortable with, that they'll eat. And we got pretty much all of it at Costco, so. We're getting packed up here. We're attempting to just go with two carry-on bags for this week. I don't know if we can do it, well, I, but. I think we can do it. It just, the real problem is that means bringing anything back. 
And yeah, a lot of times when you're souvenirs. Bags, you're using stuff up, but not like this strip. Not yeah. Like you can unload. No. Uh, so we'll see. A week is a long time. So um, that's <clears throat> a lot of clothes to have with you and whatnot. So we'll see. It's now almost nine o'clock in the evening. We've had dinner and you ran some errands. Anyways, we're kind of packed. Megan, do you think you're going to be able to get everything in your bag there? Um, yes. Yeah? We won't have room for many. Well, we these are carry-ons, then we can have a backpack as well, like a just like a, a purse, yeah. personal whatever they call it. Um, so, I think we're, we're getting close. I've got this cool hat I'm going to that wear. That is the operative term in that state. Because I don't want to get sunburned. When I'm in Mexico. And I, 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 too, have a cool hat. We're both going to have big old hats we can wear. Mine's got a... Keep ourselves like it from... It has, um, it's foldable and nice, but it has a... A like, wire in there or something? Yeah, so sometimes you want it more like that. And sometimes you want it like Paddington <laughs> Bear style. Like you're like a fisherman, maybe, like up yeah, in Maine like or Paddington. something. Paddington. Is that what Paddington was? You know Paddington? I know who he is. I didn't know he was well, a fisherman. No, he wears a hat like that. Oh, okay. Or like maybe it's bugging you because you're looking up. Sometimes when you're wearing hats like this and you're looking up a lot. It's okay. You don't, you. you don't have to go over every scenario. Or it's maybe all right. <laughs> you're kind of like. Um, you want to look like uh, like you're from the Outback. Yeah. No, do like the crocodile well, Dundee type like type a move. Pirate hat. Oh, a pirate hat. Yeah. How does a pirate hat look? I don't know. Not like that. That's more oh, like a, a John Bon like... Jovi. How he used to wear hats. Or I could do like very like chic like. Man, they're, it's so versatile. It's so many what ways. an amazing hat! Golly. I'll put a link down below N on Amazon. I, oh, okay. Here, now I, I have a moral question. Now I feel, now I feel dumb with my head over there. Yeah. I can't do that. What if I think about this often because I thrift so often? What's happening right now? What do We're you think? If you questions? go to the thrift store and you buy a bag and you get home, let's say it's an antique bag like this one. That I just got and it's an antique and you open it up and inside you find something very old and very valuable what is it that did not happen to me tonight oh it didn't no darn it. I'm like what are you gonna pull <laughs> out of there I'm so excited no but what if that happened what do you do what's your moral obligation do you go back to the thrift store and say hey I found something really valuable did anybody come and say they accidentally donated something valuable? Or do you say, like, look, you donated Grandma's purse and didn't look inside and realize that there was, like, a five-carat diamond ring? What do you think? Personally, I think whatever is in the thing is your property because you bought it. Yeah, it's highly like, unlikely to happen because, of course, a thrift store, the first thing we're going to do with a purse is dig yeah, through all the pockets. I don't, yeah, but I think if you bought it, then what's in it is uh, yours. Isn't this so cute? A 1920s, 1930s petite point.